Caitlin Clark might make you want to lose every game. Uh, but, uh, you know, not not here, not not in Minnesota. You won't believe what Cheryl Reeve said about Caitlin Clark. Just as Indiana Fever's season comes to a halt, Cheryl Reeve goes out of her way to make this point known to the world. What did the Minnesota Lynx head coach have to say to the outstanding rookie of the year? The drafts are starting to change a little bit in terms of like our interest. And so the timing of maybe, um, you know, free agency was was one that we say, hey, if we can get Courtney Vandersloot uh, and, and to be able to play with Fee, uh, everybody knows Brianna Stewart was a long shot, but, you know, she wanted to have a conversation. So that's a no brainer. Um, there were a few players that if you get them, then maybe you have a different mindset. And so when you don't, then your path is decided for you. Most people agree that Cheryl Reeve was one of the greatest WNBA coaches ever. She is one of the most successful coaches in the league, having guided the Minnesota Lynx to four WNBA championships in six years. So if you're talking about an aptitude for talent development, strategic thinking, building cohesive teams, it's hard to keep Cheryl Reeve out of the conversation, and she can't help but weigh in on the Caitlin Clark craze. And, and we're going to hear a lot that you guys are going to talk about. You're going to ask me privately, are we going to tank for Caitlin Clark and like that? Like, it's not, that's just, um, it's just not how um, I would do things. If Glenn came to me and said, sure, I want you to do that. I probably would step aside and say, let someone else do that. Uh, I don't believe in that. I think if you get there organically and that's what you deserve, great. Um, I am never going to try uh, to, to be in that situation, um, you know. Caitlin Clark might make you want to lose every game, um, but uh, you know, not not here, not not in Minnesota. Remember when she seemed slow at the start of her season with Indiana Fever, turning up poor numbers for Fever that drew criticism from veterans like Diana Taurasi? Check that out in our previous video. And guess who's laughing now? When you finish your season with 200 plus points, it's safe to say you're good for the hype. Tied with her teammate Kelsey Mitchell. CC ranks seventh in the WNBA for points scored per game. This scoring performance ranks the rookie as the best among rookies ever. And Indiana Fever had their first appearance in the playoffs since 2016. Although she was largely anonymous in the playoffs, her record was already in the bag and her impressive season saw her win Rookie of the Year. Maya Moore and Nafisa Collier are two players that have won Rookie of the Year under Cheryl Reeve. Her methodical approach to coaching is quite keen on ball movement, defense, and discipline. Maya Moore, Sylvia Fowles, Nafisa Collier, and Simone Augustus owe a great deal to Reeve. The Minnesota head coach has won several WNBA Coach of the Year awards, which has enhanced her already stellar reputation. So it comes as no surprise that the Minnesota Lynx beat the Indiana Fever both times this season. In the playoffs, Connecticut Sun gave Indiana Fever a resounding reality check although it includes some controversy with the Dijonai Carrington eye poke. Check out our previous video to see how it ruined her game. With Caitlin Clark out of the picture, the WNBA ratings are embarrassing and the league faces a reality that could prove to be devastating. Fewer viewers, declining ticket sales, and unfortunately, regression back to the norm. Aside from being the only rookie to have won Player of the Month, Caitlin Clark played a big role in reviving Indiana Fever with the franchise smashing season attendance records with over 300,000 fans. And with Indiana Fever out of the postseason, attendance in the WNBA have dropped by 20%, and this effect is not just felt on the screens, but also in the stands. This will inevitably cause the loss of endorsements and sponsorships when the WNBA can no longer keep their end of the bargain. ABC televised the Las Vegas Aces versus New York Liberty second round playoff game on Sunday, and ESPN will broadcast the Minnesota Lynx versus Connecticut Sun game one of the second round. However, it's ESPN2 that will host game three of each of these playoff series as well as possibly game five. Tuesday's games, Las Vegas at New York and Connecticut at Minnesota, will air on ESPN2 while ESPN's main channel carried both of Clark's postseason games. Sports networks are bracing up for the impact of a Clarkless WNBA on their viewership too. Outside CC, not a single game has eclipsed half a million views. What do you think of this move to demote WNBA playoffs on TV? Let us know in the comments section below. Cheryl Reeve acknowledges the impact CC has on the game as she is highly marketable. Over 54 million new viewers watched the WNBA regular season in 2024 across networks including ESPN and ABC, making it the most watched in the league's history. 
Attendance at games reached a record-breaking 22 years, and there was a significant spike in digital engagement and retail sales. Yeah, merch has been selling out too. Frankly, the rookie superstar is good for business. Caitlin Clark has not just been a scorer, but an amazing playmaker. She routinely finishes in the top three in assists, frequently finding the right pass with elegant, accurate playmaking. As one of the most versatile offensive players in the game, she can generate scoring opportunities for her teammates with her court vision. Clark plays with such passion and energy. Her competitive spirit propels her to win games at pivotal times, and her leadership on the court inspires her teammates. She has a reputation for doing well under pressure. Caitlin Clark is such a hit that a compilation of her game's highlights sits 15th in the WNBA's all-time most popular videos. Clark can play a variety of roles. She is a versatile offensive weapon who can adjust to different game scenarios because she can play both the point guard and shooting guard positions well. She constantly puts up outstanding numbers and influences games with her leadership, assists, and scoring, despite constant defensive pressure, demonstrating her ability to compete against elite players. All things considered, Caitlin Clark has been one of the most unique and interesting players in the game right now thanks to her mix of high basketball IQ, shooting range, passing skills, and competitive attitude. Cheryl Reeve also argues that it's not always all about Caitlin Clark, and the bigger picture is that the WNBA has never seen a set of rookies as these, Angel Reese, Aaliyah Edwards, that are brimming with confidence and hit the ground running. In her captivating conversation with 60 Minutes, Caitlin Clark discussed not just her individual achievements, but also the broader growth of women's basketball. Sports have a knack for bending stats to fit desired narratives, but the W's growth figures astound. TV ratings have spiked 153% from last season, and that's before the playoffs, which began last week. Gradually, then suddenly, this 27-year-old league has become a prominent player in the modern sportscape. They discussed the way she has transformed the league and also went through moments of her incredible college career. Holding off a college season in which, unimaginable just a few years ago, the women's championship game outdrew the men's, W games can draw more eyeballs than NBA games do. League-wide attendance is up 48%. Did she get under pressure at certain moments? How did she handle the excitement enjoying such a prominent role in the Fever franchise? I'm like begging my dad to like tear up some grass and pour more concrete so I could have an entire three-point line in my driveway. Did that really happen? You, you extended your range oh, yeah. by dumping more concrete. Yeah, because like, it was like kind of slanted. Our driveway was like slanted, so I only had a three-point line on one side of the driveway. So I told my dad he had to tear up all this grass, and he did. Caitlin Clark aims to inspire young athletes while balancing fame with expectations and remaining true to herself and her teammates on and off the court. As of now, Cheryl Reeve's Minnesota Lynx have odds of plus 475 to win the 2024 WNBA championship. This means that if you bet $10, you would win $57.50 if the Lynx take the title. Their chances are not the strongest in the league. The New York Liberty and Connecticut Sun are currently favored, with odds of minus 125 and plus 400, respectively. The Lynx are currently in the semifinals of the playoffs, where they are facing the Connecticut Sun. How they perform in this series will significantly impact their championship odds moving forward. Who do you think will win the WNBA championship? Drop your thoughts in the comments section below. Don't forget to like, share our video, and please subscribe so you don't miss out on your favorite games. Stay tuned.